This week will solve a chess puzzle that requires a great imagination. Although there are few pieces on the board, it is more difficult to find the right move than you might think. I must warn you, though, that it can be too easy to assume that the black pawns are going the wrong way. But remember, they are supposed to go down and are thus one move from being promoted. This puzzle is a great classic one. White checkmates black in three moves. You have one minute. Good luck. So just as I said, the black pawns are going down towards the first rank and they are awfully close to a promotion. And if we don't do anything here, the position is a stalemate because of the bishop and of the knight. One way of avoiding this stalemate is to move the knight. Knight f2 check, knight f4 and knight g5 are all possible knight moves. The advantage of knight f4 is that we are putting extra pressure on g2, but after king g1 and bishop takes on g2, we have no checkmate in one move after that the pawn promotes itself to a queen. On knight f7 check, black will once again go to g1 and we actually have no checkmate in two moves. The variation knight g5, king g1, king e1, pawn h1, queen and knight f3 is in fact a checkmate, but what black will play instead of pawn h1 queen is king h1, and then we just don't have any checkmate. Another variation that just doesn't live up to the expectations is bishop captures on g2 check, which does in fact avoid a stalemate, but there's just no checkmate in two moves after a capture of the bishop. This is why it's all too easy to start to doubt if, there's even, if there even is a solution in this position. But all we need to do is be visionary enough to find the right move, king f3. If you manage to analyze all the knight moves carefully enough to see that the first move couldn't be a knight move, you have come a long way towards the solution, and doing so in less than one minute is really good. The all too common mistake that many unfortunately make is that they just stop looking for new moves when it comes too hard to find difficult moves such as king f3. So, what black plays on king f3 is pawn f1 and has to choose a piece to put on the board. If black chooses a queen, we play knight f2 check, black must capture the knight with the queen and then we capture back with our knight king, which amazingly enough is a checkmate. If black instead of queen chooses a bishop or a rook, for that matter, knight f2 is a checkmate at once. But if black chooses a knight here, he checks us at the same time. All we need to do is to follow the same pattern as before. We play king f2, which is a check, and after that the knight blocks the check on f3, we capture it and have a checkmate. And just as I said in the beginning, there is actually also a solution to the puzzle if we choose to flip the board, making the pawns going up. The puzzle is still tricky, but all we need to do is to play bishop f3, or, well, now it's actually bishop to c6. Black can only capture the bishop with his pawn, on which we answer with king c8. Black plays pawn to c5, and we checkmate with knight c7 checkmate. I really hope you found the checkmate, which if you did, probably indicates that you are a good and visionary chess player. If you, however, found the solution on the both puzzle, you just have to have seen them before. Well, with this, it's time for the second part of our visit from Servants Museum. Here's this week's episode of the Chess History with Professor Arne Johansson. Enjoy! <laughs> 